Hey friends, happy Easter. I just wanted to check in today. I've been messaging with some of you about how you're missing having Easter at church and you're missing family. So um, I thought I would check in with a daily bread um, for those of us that are kind of in the feeling a little alone or missing our peeps today. Um, so scripture reading I chose for today is Job chapter 19. Okay. And it says this, starting with verse 23, if you want to find it in your Bible. It says, Oh, that my words were recorded, that they were written on a scroll, that they were inscribed with an iron tool, tool on lead or engraved in rock forever. I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand on the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes. I am not another. So I'm wondering today, um, as you're feeling a little um, different, that's kind of been the word of the day, right? It feels different. Um, if you can still find a way today to find hope and still find a way to connect with people and still find a way um, to find the Easter joy that you normally get when you come and gather together at church. So what's something you can be doing today to, um, for first thing, what's something you can do to connect with other people? So whether that's um, call each other or message each other or make a crazy video and send it to a friend or whatever that is, um, reach out to people today. You're not alone. It feels like you might be, but you're not. Um, the second thing you can do is um, Find your Easter joy. So what is it uh, on a normal Easter that brings you hope and brings you excitement and brings you happiness and all those things? What is it that um, brings you joy? So find a way to find that joy today, wherever you are. I mean, I, I get being stuck at home is hard when you're missing your friends and your family and your loved ones, but um, you're not alone because Christ is with you always. And it is amazing that we have a God who loves us and cares for us and sent his son to die for us. And there is hope and there is life and there is new beginnings coming. So how can you um, live into some of those new beginnings today and figure out a way to make them real for you um, while we wait to come back together? But also have hope in this. We will come back together. And it's not going to be that much longer, I hope. And when we do, it will be the ultimate celebration of Christ within us, Christ within our community, and celebration of the family that Bethlehem is. So hang in there, dear ones. You are not alone. Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Love you.